Hey there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Catherine Ceres. I'm a realtor in the greater Sarasota, Florida area with Keller Williams on the market. Now, I saw a new listing come on the market today. I recognized it as something I showed last year. And it made me want to once again do an educational video on things to look for in a house that is being flipped. Now, granted, with the big boom we've had recently in the real estate market subsequent to coronavirus, there have been very few flips. But the rules of engagement are the same. And as a buyer, it behooves you. It is in your best interest to be aware of some of the shortcuts and things you can do to try and mitigate your exposure should you choose to buy one. Because after all, when a house is being marketed today, right, they they need to be attractive. And today's buyer really needs and wants move-in ready houses more so than 20 years ago or 30 years ago. Um, it's a, just a change in everything. So flippers know this, right? And so when they score that house at a much lower price and are attempting to turn it over again, they are also looking to make a profit, right? That's their business. And it's the profit they're going to make off of you, the buyer, between the distance between what you're willing to pay for and what they bought it for, subtract what they've put into it. So this particular one has some shortcuts in it that I want to make you aware of. So let me share my screen and get started. So here are the before pictures, right? You can see that it's like 1980s type of cabinetry. It is solid wood. It will be probably maple. I think that's what the product was they were using a long time ago or before. I want you to note the refrigerator, right? With the handles and the ice maker. Note the range with the little back and the microwave. So here's the after. We can see that they've put in some kind of new flooring. So it's it's probably luxury vinyl plank, but I'm not certain without going in there. They have added quartz countertops, right? This is that, um, oh, what is it called? It's got a name. And it, Carrera, Carrera marble, which, by the way, is the marble they put in window sills back in the 50s and 60s. But it's Carrera marble countertops. I don't have the full picture, but it's actually got a waterfall on the other side. But I want you to notice the cabinets. Oh, you can see the new light fixture, too. But notice the cabinets, the shape of the cabinets, right? It's the same cabinets that were here previously. So what's happened? Well, I would put money on that they just spray painted them. They took the old countertops out, they moved the appliances, they got their spray gun and they went at it. They probably were not sanded. They probably were not finished, um, you know, sanded down to remove any previous finish or oil from people's fingers for touching it for 30 years. They were just probably spray painted. So that's the first thing I want you to know. And I want you to notice too, they didn't even bother to change the appliances and update the appliances. Okay. So yes, you get Carrera marble, you get a new light fixture, but you got old appliances and you got spray painted cabinetry. Now the problem with cabinetry that's like that, that's been spray painted is if it hasn't been done correctly, what happens is it starts to bubble and peel. And therefore, the new owner is gifted with the problem of having to refinish the cabinets or get all new cabinets. So that's issue one. Issue two, what you can look for. Again, in the old photo, we see it's still got, it's got the same kind of cabinetry from before, right? And I want you to notice the bathtub. Now, these older bathtubs are cast iron. I don't have a problem with that. I've got a cast iron tub. And in fact, that same color, okay? But look over here. Look at the marks, the indentations, right? It even looks like the taps and everything are the original ones, that what they did was they put in a new countertop, a new under cabinet sink, and new hardware on the sink, but the medicine cabinet has probably been spray painted. The light fixture is the same. So again, you know, yeah, they put the flooring in here, but they even have the original knobs, it looks like on these cabinets. So again, more corners cut. Again, this is painted. The bathtub has been painted white and as has the trim indent all around here, if you can see the cursor going there. 
Um, the problem again with the bathtub being painted is that they're very special products that have to be used and applied a specific way in order for that finish to last longer than three years. Otherwise, you, the new homeowner, are gifted again with peeling paint. You know, it comes right off. It is, I understand it is cheap and quick and dirty to do that. As someone who's purchasing a house, I certainly would not want that problem. I would have rather have seen a new tub um, or leave the old one and work with the color. <laughs> That's my preference. But again, bear in mind that you as a homeowner might ish, end up with these issues. So here's another bathroom in the house. And what I wanted to show you again is it's the same floor, the same seat. They just painted the insert. Now the camera angle isn't exactly the same, so I couldn't, it did look like they had put in a white toilet, but it didn't look, even look like a new toilet. In fact, it may have been painted as I think about it because it was the same shape as the pink one. Um, so again, corners cut. And you have to ask yourself, if they're willing to do these corner cuts on what's visible, what has been cut, what corners have been cut, um, you know, that you can't see. Now it does boast in the listing that it had a new roof in 2021. I looked up that the roof went on the same day as the closing last year when the flipper bought it. So whether they put on the roof or the seller had to put on the roof, I don't know. But again, now this is where they've probably done the most work. So this is a bathroom. In the old days, they used to have bathrooms like this off of the garage, okay? They they did that because people didn't have air conditioning. It was a premium product. So if you've been out working in the yard or you've been out sailing or at the beach or something, you had the opportunity to shower before you went into the main house. But you can see here, they removed the little sink and they put in this more modern one and the black hardware I don't know if the toilet's the same or different, but they, they got rid of this old yellow shower. And you can see, again, they've got the Carrera marble back here. And that's probably a plastic tray in the bottom of the shower. But then they've done the, the dark matte black trim, which looks very pretty. Um, so that's where they put most of the money in what they have done. Okay. Now, I do try to make my clients aware when we're looking at properties that are evidently being flipped, that there could be other issues. We try to find as many as possible during the inspection period, but there are plenty of things that are not visible. That even if you run cameras down the pipes, you know, it's not going to show you that you're about to have a leak or that it's something is leaking and you can't find out because it's on a well. So you don't even see an increase in your, your water bill. That happened to one of my clients. It was devastating. Um, there, there's a lot of little things, but you have to ask yourself, yes, this looks great today. Is it going to look great in 12 months? Is it going to look great in two years? And if it's likely it's not going to, are you willing to put in the time, the money and the work to make it right? So that's my little educational piece on when you're looking at a property that is clearly being flipped. And I hope it's been helpful and informative. And if you would like more, do drop your questions below and I'll see what I can find out for you. Okay, have a great day. I'm Catherine Ceres with Keller Williams on the Water in the greater Sarasota area, wishing you a fabulous day.